an undertaking engaged in the generation of power which opted for claiming depreciation on straight line method sold certain asset with original cost of rupees 8 lakh and written down value of rupees 7 lakh 20000 compute the terminal depreciation stroke balancing charge in case the assets were sold for 6 lakh 9 lakh or 12 lakh now first let me explain to you what you mean by terminal depreciation there are normally three things which are involved in any asset one is the actual cost second is the written down value and the third is the sale value if we see case 1 the actual cost was how much 8 lakh written down value is 7 lakh 20000 right the value for which it is sold is 6 lakh now in these cases first thing which you need to see is you need to compare the written down value with the sale value if the sale value is less what does this mean this means that while the assessee would have claimed a depreciation of 7 lakh 20000 if he didn't sell the asset now what he is getting is in return is only 6 lakh which means he is supposed to get some further depreciation this depreciation is termed as terminal depreciation terminal means towards the end right so the difference between the written down value and the sale consideration if the sale consideration is less than the written down value then this difference is allowed as a terminal depreciation so 7 lakh 20000 minus 6 lakh which is 1 lakh 20000 will be the terminal depreciation in case 2 what is happening is your actual cost is again 8 lakh your written down value is 7 lakh 20000 but the sale consideration is 9 lakh now when you have the sale consideration again two things which you need to do is compare it with one the written down value and two the actual cost when the sale consideration is more than the written down value there is no terminal depreciation okay second thing you see is whether the sale consideration is more than the actual cost also tell me something forget this for a time being if suppose you acquire an asset for 8 lakh and you sell it for 9 lakh what will happen you will have capital gain how much will that be that will be 1 lakh right but in this case what is happening is this 9 lakh is basically two things are there out of this 8 lakh you have actually claimed a depreciation of 80000 so whatever depreciation has been claimed in the past depreciation claimed in past or in other words the difference between the actual cost and the written down value which is 78 lakh minus 720 80000 this is taxed as balancing charge this is called actually as balancing charge which is taxed as business income and the difference between the actual cost and the sale consideration is capital capital gains which is 9 lakh minus 8 lakh right similarly in the third case when it is sold for 12 lakh just find this out for yourself okay i am writing the answers in reverse order for balancing charge right and capital gain see if this answers tie for you right just write it in the reverse order and you will get the answers this is the balancing charge this is the capital gain 